Today's video is going to be all about the newest fragrances releasing in 2024. So if you wanna find out more, then please keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Hayley and I review fragrances. So as I mentioned in the intro, today's video is going to be all about the latest fragrance releases. And wow, there are a lot of fragrances being released already in 2024. I don't know how any of us are meant to keep up with this, but I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a roundup and talk through some of the notes and if I will be purchasing or passing on these new launches. So if you find that interesting, let's jump into the content. But before we get started on the video, I want to thank you so much for 10K. Hitting 10K subscribers was a big milestone for me. So I really do appreciate all of the love and the support. Thank you so much, that's all I wanna say. And if you don't already subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you could join the family. So I have my phone here with all of the information needed and I am going to start with a new Initio fragrance called Narcotic Delight. Now, Narcotic Delight sounds right up my street because the notes include pink pepper, black pepper, cherry, cognac, vanilla bean, and tobacco. This one sounds incredible to me. I'm a big fan of Initio. I think I have six of their fragrances thus far, and the notes of Narcotic Delight definitely stand out to me. Now, originally I saw cherry and I was like, oh, more cherry fragrances. However, I do believe this one will go in a different direction because it has the cognac, it has the tobacco, and it has all of those peppery notes. Really excited to try this one. I think it could be in the same kind of realm as Side Effect by Initio, but this one sounds a little bit sweeter, a little bit more fun, I don't know. But as soon as this one releases, I am going to sniff it or get a sample of it and see what I think. But let me know what you think about Narcotic Delight. Do the notes stand out to you? Does this one interest you? Please do let me know down in the comments. Okay, so this next one definitely stood out to me and it is from Chloe in the Nomad lineup. And this one is called Nuit de Egypt. And the notes of this one are screaming to me. It has myrrh, ginger, cinnamon, broom, cypriol, opanax, kyphea cord, not sure what that is, orange blossom absolute, and vanilla. This one sounds so incredible. I absolutely love the Nomad line from Chloe. I feel like this is one of the best designer lines personally. It is so chic, almost understated, and it has a very cool vibe to it. But this Nomad is definitely going in a different direction. The myrrh, the ginger, the cinnamon, the vanilla. I can't wait to get my nose on this one. And I think the packaging is really nice too. I like the navy blue details. Let me know if you are a Chloe Nomad fan. Does this one interest you? I have to say, just going off the notes alone, this seems like it could be my favorite Chloe Nomad, but proof will be in the test. So I will update you when I've actually sampled this one, but yeah, really excited for that new launch. We have another Lancome fragrance, and this one is Le Nuit Trésor La Parfum. And another Le Nuit Trésor, I'm just like, oh, am I excited? But let me read you the notes because the notes sound really, really good. Damask rose, bitter cacao, black currant, and patchouli. Absolutely going to be getting my nose on this one. I'm not normally interested in this collection, but the nose of this one, the cacao, the black currant, the patchouli with the rose, it could sway me. So I wanna know, are you a fan of this line? Is there any in particular that you love? But I would say this is the one that's had me most excited in that whole line, so we shall see. So that was Le Nuit Trésor Le Parfum. Let's move on to a new Creed fragrance, and this one is called Queen of Silk. It looks to be in a deep purple bottle, and the rumored notes are iris, floral notes, woody notes, osmanthus, tuberose, and cedarwood. 
And the marketing that I've seen for Queen of Silk thus far is really beautiful. I like the idea of a silky fragrance. Sway Malakis in my collection is one of my favorites and it has a silk note. And I'm curious to see what Creed are going to do with this new fragrance because Carmina, I would say it was one of their more modern fragrances. It was bringing the female line of Creed into a more modern space, in my opinion. So I'm curious to see if that will continue with Queen of Silk. Now, I would absolutely not blind buy this one. It's going to be expensive, but I will sample it, that is for sure. Let me know if you are interested in that new release from Creed. The next one I think a lot of people will be excited about and it is from Victor and Rolf and it is the new flower bomb called Tiger Lily. And this is another one that sounds incredible and I'm so worried about 2024 already because there are a lot of fragrances on my wish list. So the notes of Tiger Lily are bergamot, coconut milk, tiger lily jasmine freesia, mango and benzoin are these brands just bringing out note porn to entice us in i really hope not because this one sounds beautiful coconut milk mango benzoin and then it's got the beautiful tiger lily and freesia i will be getting my nose on this one we will see how i feel about it but yeah we have a new YSL fragrance in the Black Opium lineup. How many more Black Opium fragrances can we have? But this one is called Over Red. And it sounds nice. It has Cherry Accord, Mandarin Essence, Jasmine Orange Blossom, Black Tea, Coffee, Patchouli, and Vanilla. And I do think the notes of this one sounds really nice. And I'm intrigued to try it, but let's see let's see now this is available in the us already i believe i think i've seen a couple of reviews pop up but i haven't really looked at them too much i do want to sample this one i don't want to have too much bias based on other reviews but let me know what you think about this one are you excited for black opium with a cherry note the bottle's really nice i like the kind of deep cherry red sounds like it's going to be nice with the black tea as well I am curious, I'm not a huge black opium fan, but this one does sound nice, so I will definitely give it a try. The next fragrance is from Killian, and it is called Born To Be Unforgettable. And the notes of this one have me very, very excited. I believe it's a re-release of one of their old fragrances that were in the round bottles. I can't quite remember the name of it. I believe it is just a re-release like Princess was, but they've also renamed this one. I could be wrong. Anyway, Born to be Unforgettable. I would be very close to blind purchasing this one. I keep searching on the Killian website waiting for it to be released. It's in the more affordable collection from Killian. So this should be around the £100 mark in the UK. The notes are lime, cinnamon, cedarwood and vanilla. And it looks like there is some kind of a cola splash in the imagery. And I have to say, I am so intrigued to smell this one. It sounds like something that I would really, really enjoy. Oh, it does actually say cola as a note. I missed that one. So yeah, cola as a note. And I love the idea of cola, cinnamon, cedarwood, vanilla, and lime. So I don't know, this might be a blind purchase for me. I'm trying my best not to do this, but I am super excited about this new release. Let me know what you think. And if you can remember the name of the fragrance that this is supposed to be a re-release for, pop it down in the comments so other people can find out. Jean-Paul Gaultier are bringing out two new fragrances, one that is targeted towards women and one that is targeted towards men. And the feminine lean-in one is La Belle Paradise Garden, which looks to be a re-release of Fleur Terrible, I think it was called. Terri <laughs> My pronunciation, I apologize in advance, but it looks to be a re-release. However, that's not been confirmed. The bottle looks very, very similar. The notes are Blue Lotus, Heliotrope, Vanilla Almond, Ginger Iris, Woody Notes, Ylang Ylang, and Bergamot. So... Yeah, I'm very, very intrigued by this. I never got to smell the Fleur Terrible, Terrible. <laughs> so 
I definitely want to get my nose on this one and I'm hoping it's a similar version because people speak really highly about that one that was discontinued. Anyway, let's get on to the more masculine leaning version, which has the same name. This one has notes of aquatic notes, fresh green notes, ginger mint, salty coconut, green fig, sandalwood and tonka bean. Why do I want the masculine leaning one more than the feminine leaning one? I mean, they both sound great, but this one sounds incredible. Sounds like it's gonna be very fresh, marine, aquatic, a little bit salty. I love the idea of that green fig, the tonka bean. Super, super excited. Not quite sure when it's being released. I keep looking on the Jean-Paul Gaultier website, but can't wait to get my nose on that one. The next fragrance of fragrances are from Valentino. One that is targeted towards women, one that is targeted towards men. They typically do this. And it is in the Born in Roma Donna range. This one is Green Stravaganza. Again, flankers, I just kind of wish they would bring out something new rather than flankers. I don't think it's as exciting when it's a flanker, even if the notes read well. However, the notes of this sound right up my alley. It has a Lapsang Tea Accord, Jasmine Absolute and Vanilla Extract. I will get my nose on this. I actually don't own any fragrances from Valentino. Not that I think they're bad, I just don't own any of them. I typically actually prefer the masculine leaning line. So let's talk about the men's version. Has the same name again, but obviously targeted towards men. And this one has notes of bergamot, coffee, star anise, and vetiver. So it feels like they're going for a fresh, Obviously you've got tea in the women's one, you've got coffee in the men's version. I like the sound of both of them. I would definitely get my nose on both of them, but they definitely won't be a blind buy for me. What do you think about these two fragrances from Valentino? Do they stand out to you? Are you going to be adding them to your sniff list? A new fragrance from Frederick Mull, and this one is called Synthetic Nature. It includes notes of basil, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, and Patchouli. The name doesn't really appeal to me. Synthetic Nature. Very interesting name choice. And I have to say the notes also don't appeal to me. But that being said, I will absolutely sample this one and I will keep my mind open because I do like Frederick Mull fragrances. It's another brand that I don't own anything from. Nothing has ever wowed me as of yet, but I do want to get a discovery set and try everything at home and on the skin. Anyway, let's move on from that, but let me know if synthetic nature is something that stands out to you and if you will be sampling it. There's another Narciso Rodriguez release, and this is For Her Musk Nude. And if you watch my channel, you will know I am a big fan of Narciso fragrances. I really, really enjoy the DNA. And I love the perfumer. It's Sonia Constant. She is amazing. The notes of this include Cypress Accord, Pink Pepper, White Jasmine, Damask Rose, Musk Orange Blossom and Ylang Ylang, Soft Woods, Patchouli and Tonka Bean Absolute. I will definitely be getting my nose on this one. As I've already mentioned, I'm a big fan of Narciso, especially the musk range. It's a musk that I really, really enjoy. I love musky fragrances in general. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. Let me know if you're also excited for this one or if it's going to be a pass for you. Let's finish with one more fragrance that I saw on Instagram yesterday. I'm not going to be able to sample this one as they don't ship to the UK at this present point but it's from the brand Sniff and it is called Vanilla Vice. And the promo picture of this alone made me really, really excited. You might not be able to see that very well. I will pop a picture on the screen, but it has what looks like melted vanilla ice cream with sprinkles. And I'm a vanilla fan. I do want to sample this one, but I won't be able to sample this one due to where I live. But I would love to hear your feedback if you do get around to sampling this one and you live in the US. 
One thing to note is there was another fragrance called Vanilla Vice launched last month from Viva More, which is a bit unfortunate to have two fragrances released within months of each other. But of course, all of the marketing and the packaging had been done by that point. But yeah, really interesting that two fragrances came out at the same time with the same name. So those were all of the new fragrances that I wanted to discuss with you today. There were a lot more new fragrances that I could go through, but this video would be so long. I know some of you really like these videos. Please do let me know if you would like me to continue doing them, but thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in a future video to come. Thank you so much and goodbye.